Why is change so hard? Why do we have to wait for loss, for pain, in order for us to change something? For those that are knowing, my name is Despina, and here are Crystals Within. We'll explore the power you have within and how you can use that power to manifest the life you want. So first, when it comes to change, let's understand what is change. And in our everyday life, we have about 60,000 thoughts, 60,000 thoughts in a day. And 90% of those thoughts are a repetition of the thoughts we had yesterday and the day before and the day before. And that makes us that makes sense to me as to why we keep repeating a pattern um, over and over again and we keep getting the same result over and over again because first comes the thought and the thought brings the choices and choices bring behaviors behaviors bring experiences experiences bring feelings and feelings bring more of those thoughts and it's a cycle that goes over and over again and it ends up manifesting in sometimes things that we want or sometimes in things that we do want if those thoughts reflect that. And our thoughts can affect our energy, they can affect our genes, they can affect even our neurochemistry. Everything in our body can be affected with our thoughts. And the reason is because Everything is created with a thought. The whole universe was created with that one thought. Who can I be? What can I be? What can I become? And so we think, act, and feel. And we call this a personality. So because of all this, we create a personality around all those things. And then we put ourselves in this box. And the more we persist on to keeping these thoughts, keeping these feelings, keeping um, the same pattern, the more that box gets older and the more it gets rusty and the more it gets dusty. And the more it gets like that, the harder it is for us to clean the box and make it look brand new. So I want you to think yourself as a box that needs to open and the more we wire ourselves into that personality as to who we are we are like a computer think of yourself as a computer with a soul that's why thinking positively positively doesn't really do the trick for a lot of people because you can have all the positive thoughts you want to have but if you're so wired in your brain in that box as to this personality that you are, you will never believe those positive thoughts and so they will never work for you. So our thoughts will say one thing, but then our body, because we have wired it so well, um, even chemically, is gonna say another thing so the two won't match, the two won't, won't merge together really well. So our body will be conditioned to live in the past because we have wired it so well with our thoughts that it will be they will stay in the past its energy will be in the past so if we're not using our thoughts to create a life then our brain um, a creative life then our brain will keep using our past moments to create a future and in our everyday life we wake up it's a new day, a new possibility. Um, everything is possible. We ahead of us. We have so many things we can explore. And then the moment we wake up, because we are thinking the same thoughts we have thought that yesterday, ninety percent of them. Then what happens is those thoughts thoughts belong to the past. Oh my God. Uh, why did I get into this argument yesterday with this person? Oh my God, my. Um, um, my ex cheated on me and therefore now I have trust issues. Even subconsciously, even if you don't say it subconsciously, those thoughts from the past belong in our brain. So we carry their energy into the future, into the present moment. And um, we keep creating the same patterns and the same reality over and over again. 
And all of those thoughts are attached to emotions and experiences. And the moment we allow our feelings um, to drive our thoughts and um, all of that becomes our destiny because we allow it to happen. And subconsciously, a lot of times, a lot of times we don't even realize it. And as long as we're thinking in the past, as long as we're thinking in the things that happened to us in the past, we'll be stuck in that energy of the past. And the bigger the feeling, the bigger the emotion it is behind that past experience, um, the, the bigger effect that will have in our life. And that's why it's important to heal uh, an emotion when it comes up. But it's important to deal with it in that moment so we don't carry its blocked emotion in the future because it will keep arising over and over again until we make the choice to see it and heal it. And because each feeling has a meaning to us, that creates a picture in our mind and it creates like an idea. So for example, a lot of people that have trust issues in their relationships is because maybe in their past they were cheated. So they carry that energy into their next relationship, even though their next relationship, the person, their partner might not cheat on them, but they have that trust issue because of what happened to them in the past. And um, that idea ends up controlling our life. So when we ask somebody, why are you this way? What they will say is um, they will mention something that happened to them in the past. So they carry that past to their present and to their future. And the interesting thing is 50% of that idea we have in our mind from our past isn't even true. Uh, because we have our own interpretation and other people have their own interpretation and the pictures we have in our mind become um, comes from like a position that is very different from the one we live right now. So for example, yes, somebody might have cheated on us in the past, but right now as a single person or as a person in a new relationship, nobody's cheating on me. So I'm taking that energy of the past and I'm carrying it with me, even though in the present moment, things are different. And um, the interesting, that's, that, that's where the trust issues come in. And so we keep repeating the same experience and the same pattern and the same issue um, from the one we are leaving right now from our past. So um, the more we do that, the more we uh, kind of wire our brain into that personality, um, into that new us, and um, the more we keep repeating those patterns and the more we manifest the things we don't want, and um, uh, the more we stay living in the past instead of the present and instead of imagining a different future. So in our mind, we don't know the difference between past, present, and future. In reality, there's no time. So we just take that energy and we carry it with us throughout time. And um, so for us to change something, we have to, um, we have to change our conditioning from the past. We have to become greater of the conditioning we have from our past. And um, it, it, it's all called a habit. It's creating a new habit. And so we have to become really aware of those patterns and those habits that keep us in the past. And we have to be really honest with ourselves. And a lot of people call this realistic. Oh, I'm realistic. People suck or um, people are this or people are that. So we keep projecting our energy onto other people when in reality it's something within us that needs to heal because yes some people cheat but some people don't cheat so there's um there's um a mixture of everything but the more we 
are emitting in that energy of, I'm taking again the example of trust issues, the more we will end up attracting that because everything is energy. It's like people smell energy and they, attra they are attracted to you when you emit that energy. So if we wish to change something, we need to become creator of our past, our conditioning. And uh, because it's not even our personality anymore. It's, it's not even our personality that we're in the present moment. It's usually our conditioning and our trauma um, that controls our life because um, it's our past memories pretty much. So true personality, it's if you think of yourself as a child, before you have all of this conditioning, before you had all of this trauma, who were you as a person? That is your true personality. And even that can change if you choose to. Today, you can choose to be an introvert and tomorrow you can choose to be an extrovert. Personality is also an illusion. And so for us to change, we need to start living in our future reality. And as long as we are not creating any new experiences in our life, um, we stay in the same energy. So to change, we have to become greater of the past. And past, it's the unknown. Um, and a predictable future, the predictable future is also the unknown. And um, to change, we have to start letting go of labels. We have to start letting go of conditioning. We have to start letting go of the trauma that those things, all of those things belong in the past, belong in a situation, in an energy that happened in the past that most likely is not even happening in the future or even in the present moment. And um, we have to start becoming present in this current moment as to what it is happening right now. Um, so ask yourself, yes, I was cheating in the past. Again, I'm taking this example because it's very common as to the healing process. Yes, I was cheating in the past, but am I being cheated right now? Yes, I was abused in the past, but am I right now? And if even if you are right now, what are you gonna do about it to change that energy? What are you gonna do about it? What new experience can you bring to the table so you don't create the same future? So to get from point A to point B um, means not making the same choices we made in the past, um, not making the same choices we made yesterday. And um, for example, uh, when people have depression, they wake up the day before and they don't want to leave their bed. So what what is a new change you can make in your life? You wake up and even if you're, you're feeling, I just want to stay in my bed, you become greater of that feeling. You become greater of that feeling of the past and you say, you know what? No, I'm just going to go for a walk little by little, step by step. And when the more you do that, the more you're allowing yourself to come closer to this new energy, to, to going from point A to point B. And um, uh, like that, this is you gaining power over your past energy. And this is how you gain power over your programming, over your trauma, over all that labels that society might give us. And just be ready because when you make the choice to go from point A to point B, it will feel uncomfortable. Why? Because it's something new. Because it's a new experience where, again, with the box, we're trying to get out of that box that we have conditioned ourselves to be in there for so long. So just remember, because you have a thought, it doesn't mean that that thought is true. Because we stay in our thoughts of, let's say, for example, uh, people suck. So we stay in that energy because we have that so thought, people suck. It doesn't mean that people actually suck because there's good people out there. But just because we're in that energy of people suck, we refuse to see 
the people that don't suck and so we stay in that all energy so um uh, to to give birth to a new life uh first we have to allow the old self that all rusty box that old wiring we have to allow the old one to die in order for us to get a new life and it's a choice it's a decision and um the best way to predict uh, a different future it's to create it to start creating it with our thoughts and that's why visualization is so important because visualization allows us to think outside the box so um and if we if we do this visualization enough if we stay in that energy of visualization enough then we will start acting and we will start thinking like that visualization from from that perspective from that energy of that visualization and so then we will start acting as the visualization and then um uh the acting will bring will start bringing different experiences in our life and um by doing this our external world will also start to change and what we're creating will start little by little being different than we what we have created in the past and um it, it it's like the the law of cause and effect is one of the laws of the universe if you haven't watched my video on the seven laws of the universe i encourage you to go ahead and understand more of what the law of cause and effect is and how it's like karma everything it's an energy uh, into our life and um so today ask yourself how does my future self act so for example let's say you want to be more confident right in your confident future self so you're in this energy right now and then the energy of B, it's more confident, more sure. So how does my future self act? How does my future self think? Um, how does my future self walk? How does my future self um, um, talk? So the, the more you visualize that, the more you will allow yourself to become that. So if you do want to act more confident, stand up and show yourself. How does a confident person walk? How does a confident person talk? And slowly start becoming that. And even if that split second, if you allow your body to act more confident, you are in that energy of confidence. But sometimes because we don't believe that to be true, we go back to our old energy. So the more we practice it, the more we will start believing it and the more we will believe it the more it will start manifesting into our life and um when we do that when we allow ourselves to be in the energy of the future we are creating this new reality we are creating this new energy in the present moment so we are in the present moment but i'm deciding in the present moment to act more confident by um opening my chest by speaking a little louder by speaking a little more clearer by being more clear into my core about who i am and um to do that i encourage you to start journaling start writing and visualizing your future self if you want success in your life what does success look like right now how does a successful person act according to you and the the, the more clear you become about it the more you start implementing that future reality into the present moment and the more you're implementing that future reality into the present moment the more you will start manifesting that future reality into the present moment but first you need to change the energy because we can't expect the universe to manifest something for us so quick if we for so long were into that one energy that represented the past so we need to start changing that we need to start implementing that so um, the more we do that the more we will emit the energy of the future 
and uh, the more we do that the more we will start sending signals to our brain and even like that we can start changing our chemistry our uh, our body language our uh, perception of personality because all of that can change all of it starting from the thought and um, we're gonna start sending signals to the brain like that that ooh, something else is happening and new energy is coming into our cells into our neurochemistry and uh, that's how also manifestation works um, the more you do that the more you will believe it's possible and the more you will believe it's possible the more you will make it into your reality and you will see that when you start doing this when you start changing your energy opportunities will start to show up um, and people that align with that future self will start to show up into your life um, and that's the universe telling you that you are on your way to your new future and uh, the only thing that can stop us there are three things that can stop us from doing this is our body it's our environment and it's our time and our body will say to us oh today I'm tired oh today I just don't feel like it and so um, so we use these feelings uh, to stop us from changing we use these feelings as an excuse and the more we do that the more we allow our feelings to the more we start believing our our thoughts when it comes to like I don't feel like it I don't want to do it today we will always be stuck in that past energy so you have to prepare yourself when you're making a new change in your life that your past energy will show up because you haven't trained that past energy to move from point A to point B yet so be prepared that these things will show up but the more you um you overcome those feelings and you stay persistent in going from point A to point B, the more you will start letting go of that energy. And um, second is the environment. The environment will say to us, oh, you're busy today. Oh, you, um, um, for example, people that cannot walk, right? Oh, you cannot walk, so how are you gonna do that if you, if you don't know how to walk? But have you seen those people that they don't have legs or maybe they don't have hands and they achieve all those great things why because they overcame their environment they overcame what their brain tells them about their environment because everything is possible and number three is time oh today you don't have time um oh i'm i'm working full time so i cannot build a side business when in reality you can so watch this so why when we are in our lowest we decide to make that change because we refuse to accept those excuses of body environment and time because those three things are excuses and when we are in our lowest we want to get out of the low so bad that we refuse to re accept these three things. So, now that you have this information, how will you use this information to your advantage? How will you use this information to manifest something else, the point B that you want into your life? So, remember, what you put your focus on grows. What you put your attention to grows so choose your focus on wisely so if you haven't followed us here crystals within go ahead and follow us here crystals within and hit the bell button so you don't mix the next series you don't miss the next series i will be doing talking about the brain about manifestation and how meditation too can help you change this wiring this thought process you have into your life until next time, my beautiful people, stay true to your higher self and to the power you have within. Bye-bye.